Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Doris, and my YouTube channel is Cebuano Mariscarti Vlog. And I am going to carve a fruit um, as part of a hobby. I have been doing this for about five years now or so but I have never felt myself doing it. It's just part of my hobby, uh, my pastime, I guess, and a sort of an escape for having a depression. Uh, of course, I will miss my, my home country. And every time I felt that way, I felt so down, um, I will just find ways to focus myself into some, something to divert what I'm feeling. Um, to release my emotion and I can create uh, maybe you can call it an extraordinary but I don't think I don't really consider myself as a talented because everyone can learn on this anybody who is interested can learn anything as long as you focus yourself and put your interest into it of course, it will take a lot of time for practice, but um, anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make it. Uh, this time, I have a part of apple, which I have sliced it earlier, but then again, I changed my mind. So I'm going to have uh, what I have over here anyway, but um, I have a special type of carving knife, which is, you can always find it some, some online um, stores like Amazon. Um, of course, the cutting board. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, the handle of this is just like you're holding a pen. Um, if it's like you were drawing, like sort of like an arts, but um. The only difference with the pencil or a pen is you're using an ink and this one we have we always have to keep in mind that this is sharp um, and we're not dealing with papers only but this is a fruit so we'll see what we can create this time so please stay tuned and please if you don't do subscribe yet please do um, subscribe like and please support my channel so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a circle, which is just a very basic shape that we can do. I mean, any kind of knife you can do as long as it's small uh, type of knife where it's easy to manage. So now I'm gonna create like a layer of it to show the circle that I have created. I don't know if you can see how I have handled my my knife or how I hold on to it. But um, I hope it does help and for the beginners right there um, just keep on practicing. All right, so I know it's not really perfect circle, but um, nature's never been perfect anyway. All right, so this time I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a petals. Why I'm going to create a flower. So the first petal I'm gonna make is right in the inner circle. So I'm gonna have 
to create a layer out of it to illustrate the first petal. So the second one is the same thing I'm going to do. go so just keep on repeating the same method the same um, strategy that you are doing for from the first petal all the way until you can you can complete the entire circle which I have to remove this um, corner um, I'm going to do it the same way as I did from the first and the second and just follow the pattern of the circle I'm gonna have to move it right here so you can see how I do because I'm a right-handed and it's kind of hard to show Alright, so here's the first part layer of our apple. Um, the first part of the outer part of the brose is what I'm intending to do. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep on doing this until I reach the, the middle, right, the inner part of it on the rose. So it's just alternate. So now that I'm almost finished with it, well actually I'm finished with the metal one. So I'm gonna do the outer part of the petals to illustrate more of the flower in to the, the proper image of it. So it's just all about illustration. So I'm gonna have to um, cut this part right here, the outer part of the circle. So I can create more open petals into it.
there you go. So now I'm gonna do the first petal for the outer part. First petal. Let me put this down so you can see better. Second or the third, this is the third um, petals I'm going to make for the outer part. So, actually, there is no specific numbers of petals that you can do as long as they will be surrounded in the middle part of the first or inner flower that you have made.
here is what the partial of it that we were doing. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's really clear as of now. Maybe it's because of the lighting. There you go. Um, it's still not, I don't think it is. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one over here. Hopefully it will be clearer. So there you go. So this is the product that we have made, or if you can call it an art. It doesn't have to be perfect in terms of your petals. Um, just go on with the flow. Uh, let your hands just guide it into it. Um, But anyway, I'm not really, um, really talkative when I'm working or when I'm doing something. It's because I'm trying to concentrate. It's not because that I can't control my, my hands over it for, um, from the knife. Or maybe just my... My mouth and my hand doesn't really work together so well. So this is the finished product guys. So here's our finished product. It's 
so it's an apple that I made it into a rose so I hope you like this guys and I hope you will you will support my channel and if you find this interesting please subscribe so you'll be updated for more videos to come thank you and I'll see you in the next video.